we really have a problem of uh, teenage pregnancies getting bigger and bigger every day. The young people are really sexually active, but parents, guardians are failing to appreciate and recognize that. I was 15 years when I had my first baby. When my dad found out that I was pregnant, she felt very bad because I was still in school. So he was like, you can go. He sent me away, away from home. For the church, they say it's abstinence for this young person, but sometimes it's not real. It is theory. When you come to the ground here, the girls are engaging into sex at an early age, 12, 13, they're already there. We use the tuk-tuk because it is easy to penetrate in the slum areas where the vehicles can't reach. And because we can pack our things within the tuk-tuk and we go with all the stuffs. Oh, setting up takes us two to three hours. We target 10 to 24 years out of school and then we target the drug users, we target the, the commercial sex workers and we target uh, the young teen moms. The type of counselings that we offer are two. We do group counselling and then um, individual counselling. In the group counselling, we are introducing the services we are offering and then detailed, we go into each method. We explain about the methods, how they work and how they can access them. We use the tuk tuk for individual counselling to create privacy for the, for the clients. So what we do, we, we set it up and it becomes a counselling area. They need the family planning methods because in most cases, these people in the slums, they are not employed. Yeah. So when you are not employed, for example, you are youth, the, there are many, many temptations to, to involve yourself into sexual relationships. So when they involve themselves into sexual relationships, sometimes they don't know about condom use. So they end up conceiving unwanted pregnancies. Many girls are here, 15, 18, 17, the pregnant. My name is Nancy Amebra and I'm a peer educator in Maristops. You have to get a child by choice, but not by chance. Mine was by chance, but not by choice, because I wanted to get some money from the guy. So I used to do that thing. I took them, the difficulties that I got, if they, they don't have very good income, they should not get birth. The hospitals are far away from them. And sometimes they have stigma for the hospitals. They say, oh, for example, the youth, they used to say, ah, no, I don't want to go to the hospital because uh, the people there, the service providers, will stigmatize me. So when you bring the services near to them, they feel comfortable. They say, oh, we can even get services here. Perfect. <laughs>